Hey guys, it's Kylie, and today I have a pin video for you. This video is going to show my top 10-ish. They're not like my favorite pins, but top 10 that have like a somewhat of a story to them on pin trading at Walt Disney World. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first one I'm going to do is this college program pin. Um, I traded for this... I traded that at Pin Traders at Walt Disney World, well, Disney Springs, um, and I traded with a cast member. He didn't really want to trade it because he was in the college program and it was the only one he didn't have, but I mean, they have to trade it, so he traded it. Um, after the fact, my mom thought the kid was flirting with me. I thought that was a little weird, but that was over this past summer. Um, yeah, and then the next pin was this one. It's a like a mitten of mini. I traded it on a pin board at the Beach Club gift shop. Um, it w was just a big pin on the pin board. We were just there getting lunch. And it turns out to be LE of 2650 Um I looked it up and it was sold with gift cards during the Christmas time last year. Um, yeah, so it's a nice big pin. It was, I mean, I traded a booster pin for it for an LE pin, so that was nice. This next one is, oh, like supposed to represent the medal from the wine and dine half marathon 2016 um i traded this at a gift shop in the american adventure pavilion um i saw it out of the corner of my eye i could see the red strap on it it was a mystery pin so obviously i couldn't see the pin but the red cloth kind of gives it away it's like a different pin most of them are metal so i kind of i pointed to the back i wanted and then but it was like this back I pointed to, or the upper high one, because it was closer to the red strap. And she started to take off this one. I was like, no, I want that one. And it, it was a two pit back one. And I was like, it was a metal one. Those are all L E uh, L R, so that's good. The next pin is this New York to Bahamas 2012 cruise line pin. I mean, I traded for this because it was a cruise line pin. But I traded it at the boardwalk gift shop, like downstairs. On, uh, on the boardwalk, um, not the one inside the hotel. Yeah, they, we are, were there to pick up our merchandise that we had, like, sent from Epcot so we didn't have to walk around with it, and they had a pin board out, so, and cruise line pins, you don't see those a lot in the parks, so I had to trade for it, and it was so specific where it had, like, the places, I was like, that could be LE, and it is, it's LE of 2,500. Um, the next one is this one man's dream pin. I traded it on the same day of the college program one, also at, um, Pin Traders. Um, it's flat. It doesn't have any, like, two-dimensionalness to it, which I thought was interesting. And it's also, like, really, really thin compared to most pins. And it's, I looked it up and it's from, um, 100 Years of Magic's press event in 2001. And it's one man's dream, which is still there, but they've changed it so much since then. Now this Chippendale pin, I got it in Canada at like the bar that they have there. Um, I traded a mystery, as a mystery pin, a Tinkerbell version of it early in the day, and then I saw the Chippendale pin, and I collect Chippendale, so I grabbed that one up. Um, this next one I traded at Kid Spot in China, and it um, kind of reminded me of, like, the feel of China when we, like, other Chinese things that were, like, around it. It looked very similar, so I was like, oh, is this, like, a Hong Kong pin or a Tokyo or something? But, no, it's just a booster pack that they have at Disney World, but it's a good size pin, so I, I said, sure, I'll take it. Um, this is an Adventures by Disney pin. Um, I just liked it because it was the Adventures by Disney logo. Um, and I traded for it with a DVC cast member, I think in Epcot. If you notice, a lot of these are from Epcot, because that's why I do a lot of the pin trading, because we usually stay right there. And then it's easy, just if we have free time, we'll just go wander around the countries and trade at the different countries, because there's so many cast members in the countries that have lanyards. This next Mickey, um, uh, sorry, not Mickey, uh, Chip Magic Band I traded for at the, at Pin Traders a couple years ago. Um, the pin board was open, which is, if you know pins, that's rare. Um, it's hard to, like, be there when the pin board's open, because it's not, like, a set time, it's just randomly open. 
Um, so I jumped in the line and the Magic Band set had just come out and I collect chips in Dale, so I said I grabbed that one and one other pin. Um, but yeah. And then this last pin is an Ears to the World Disney Show Translator. Um, I looked it up and couldn't find it anywhere on pin picks, but it's definitely a funky pin. It's not Ali or anything, but it's definitely different. I traded for it with a cast member at the gift shop by the International Gateway entrance to Epcot. Um, I just thought it was unique and it reminds me now of on our last cruise there was a somebody that was deaf so at the shows there was somebody doing two people doing sign language and like acting out the play and it kind of reminds me of them because they were translating the show, show into sign language for the guy. But here are, let's zoom out. Oh, that ticking sound. Here are the 10 pins. These are like my top pins, you could say that I traded for, that I like remember trading for at Walt Disney World. I also have plenty of trends, pins that are traded for on the cruises and stuff that are big L LE pins, but if you know the cruises and you've ever done a pin trading night on the cruise, like pin officer pin trading at the on the cruises, it's really easy to get LE pins. So I have a bunch from that, but I was like, these have more story to them and a little bit more um, meaning, I guess, to finding them versus them just like walking out with them on. So yeah, these are the 10 pins that I have stories from trading in um, Disney World. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to check out some of my other videos from this Vlogmas. Um, like, subscribe, um, turn on your bell so you get notified. I have update uploading every day around 2 for Vlogmas, so be sure to check that out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.